Now, Chieftain, I'm not sure if you're aware of how this sort of plays out, but Steve-O just goes bang, bang, bang. He starts in three, two, one, and number one Works is his way up. the big yeah. one. Now, you can agree or disagree. It's really up to you as to how you sort of float this boat, Gaz. Damien Barrett came to me the other day, so I got an idea for a new segment. Oh, no! <laughs> I said, what is it? He said, four on the floor. <laughs> I, said, I said, Damo, don't try and tread on our man Steve-O's right. territory. The three on the tree is must listen to. Normally... I'm driving home, Chief, and uh, the tree on the tree comes around mm. about quarter to seven, and my drive coincides with me having to pull over to the bottle O and just sit there to get my two stubbies. <laughs> and and I can't get out till the, the, yeah. the tree comes out, and the big bang, he goes bang, bang. And Brownie, God rest his soul, we love you, Brownie. <laughs> feel, feel for you, Chief Sharp. Oh, no, no, we yes. normally rich. I was actually, you no, have... I was actually working with him. No, you weren't. Until then, you jumped on board. <laughs> no. So you're the one that, that is a lie. That is you not a lie. It. That you is know not it. a lie. So, Brownie, That's I love fact. you. I, uh, Chief Sharp, did you? But anyway. I was looking forward I, to working with Brownie. I like yeah. it when and then they Brownie, the get Brownie on the phone so he can just interject. Because that's what I love. I'm lost without Brownie, but I'll try anyway here. Is this three or number one? I love I want to it's reverse order. The yeah, third right. most important yeah. burning yeah. burning issues. Yeah, yeah. crack at the AFL. The finals fixturing is all over the it's shop. When you look at for fairness, one for fairness, <laughs> that's not right, Gary. North Melbourne and West Coast shouldn't be played on a Sunday afternoon. I know there's there's a rugby game on tonight. It's farcical that you can have a game in Perth on Sunday afternoon. Either side has to travel back. Only thirty six degrees. Yeah, thirty six mm. degrees. Then have a short break. They play Collingwood Saturday night here. The Pies are rested up. I just think it's too big of an advantage. The AFL needs to just get these integrity issues right, Chief. The finals are too important not, to be having. I'm not sure you're going to get uneven. Chief buying in on a fixturing one first yeah, well, the, up. The, diff- the difference is, oh, though, there's, fix- <laughs> there's fixture issues from round one of NAB Cup right through, aren't there? The, the finals are fairly important, I would have thought. I agree. I agree. travelling back on a six-day break. But we've never had an even playing field in terms of the draw. Mm. Oh, I'd say just a soft opening. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's how he normally rolls. Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing it right yeah, up now. I'm not seeing any flames well, I'm yet. It not yet. Just Maybe yeah, just yeah. a couple it's of patient, patient, sparks. Patient, chief. Open it. Sharp, Got two to go. Right? Next one. Footy wastage. Hold your ground, Steve. Footy wastage. There's people starving in Africa all across the world, and yet Hello. footy oh. is wasting cash. Footy payouts to coaches are ridiculous. Carlton have made a move on Mark Riley, Alan Richardson, Paul Williams. Now, Williams and Richardson will only have small payouts uh, due to their contracts. They've got to pay Riley out, which will be in the region of 200. That comes on top of Ratton at 650. Matty Knights was paid out 1.2 for two years at Essendon. Bailey got 500. Harvey still getting six to 700 from Frio. At some stage, you have to call the boards and the CEOs Who's into account here. Dean Bailey. Oh, from where? From Melbourne. He got a payout. No, he didn't. Yeah. He did not. He moved on. He didn't get a payout. In his last Ooh. year, he might have been up. No, he wasn't, mate. If you're going to go three on the track, <laughs> <Hang on. laughs> get it I right. Might, I might take Bailey off. <laughs> can, I, can I just say but this? The, the gist is yep. there's too much wastage, Chief. And Mark Williams as well, he, he left with two years no. left. We're not, we're not toasting marshmallows yet. The flame hasn't come up great <laughs> enough yet to do any damage. But surely the boards let me, have to be accountable here. There's too many payouts. Boards do have to be accountable, but you've also got to weigh up what seeing a contract out might mean in terms of the long-term effect setting back the development of the club. So well, we've done the sums. For, for Carlton to change over Mick Mouldhouse, it's in the region of, say, $3 million in changeover. That's massive. By the time you pay out certain staff, bring in staff, maybe fitness guys, Mouldhouse wants his own team. $3 million? That's a lot of money. Where'd you get that figure from? Well, you're going to have to pay Mick over a million next year, right. which you wouldn't have to pay. Right. You add that to Ratton, you had all the fitness staff. Maybe recruiters, whatever. Well, so they all got paid out, did they? All of those no, there'll be people. some paid out. So I'm, I'm adding Moldhouse's wage in there next year as well. Also, the, the guys that they're replacing. So they're doubling up. So Riley goes for 200. He gets in uh, Robert Wiley on 200. That's 400. But if Riley ends up or one of those in another club, then that's... Um in the, and he gets a new job, then they don't have to pay out. I'm not job. sure about that. I well, think you might find the coaches association will push strongly for a guy like yeah, Riley should get his full. Could we get out. the seal spotter on just to clarify that? Well, he's yes. busy doing interviews with I think the Washington Post about the seal. <laughs> hey, ba- Bazza, Barry Denner here, of course. Baz, you've been on the three on the tree for years yes. now. How have yeah. you rated this one? This one is uh, building to a big crescendo. Oh, I hope so. is, we building. have not when, shaken when, a leaf when, off the tree. Yeah, and the first two are a little bit like that. Oh, the big yeah, one at the end just, just makes us uh, feel 
reading the tea leaves here, and uh, mm. Steve is somewhat intimidated by the two blokes <laughs> on either side of him. He's normally got no. brownie, and he's got him covered with a couple of crisp. I'm cats. going hard. It's, it's a winter tree and it's bare <laughs> at the moment. I'm going hard. My number one is uh, I saw the most overrated player in the competition running around today, Kurt Tippett. Ooh. Was a total oh, non-event yeah. playing yeah, in the forward statement. fifty for Adelaide. He was on LRT. He wasn't on Jeff Southby. <laughs> he couldn't get the job done. Now it's ridiculous. The Crows have offered him five mo- five years, three million dollars. He hasn't accepted that. Other clubs are sniffing around. I say he's overpaid, overhyped. You have to perform in finals, and, and if you look at it, he's never kicked more than fifty-five goals in a season. He's kicking at goals wobbly anyway, and the guy is the most overrated player in the competition. Ooh, bang, bang, there's an issue. Bang. Now, let me ask you a question, Steve. The most overrated player yeah. in the competition. Who did he beat for the coveted number one spot? Who ran second and third? Well, I haven't had a think, but I, I can get back probably in half an hour with a couple well, of others. I mean, you have haven't you had got a any, think. Have you got any other what candidates? I mean, you haven't had a think. I've had a good think, and I think he is the most overrated. I reckon there's a couple of players. What other, what other, other names right. came to what have, mind? What have you said about I mean, Travis Cloak prior to the last two weeks? I haven't, because uh, well, I listened to the three. I've been three. very supportive mm, of Travis. Actually, mm, if you look mm. at his numbers this year, mo- okay. the most contested marks in the comp. But Kurt well, you Tippett, retired Izzy the other week, so you'd probably yeah. put him in the same. All the hype there, about Tippett, and you could probably put Travis Boak in that. I mean, the amount of headlines and stories written for a guy who's not even an A grader. It's just ridiculous. All right. Well, you, you were slow out of the blocks, but you came home like Usain Bolt. Oh, mm. well, like trouble is, everyone else had finished by the time he stormed home. <laughs> yes. No, I liked it. Did anyone well, else you want to give a parting shot before home? we hit a break? I think there's a few Collingwood players, because they play for Collingwood, have inflated... Names. Uh, more names? Yep. Uh, I'll get back to it. All right. Harry O. I've never seen you have to work this hard for the three burning issues. The boys on the either side have just made him dance around. Oh now, yes, up. Chieftain. Uh, an original roster for Triple M Football Saturday <laughs> night has come through. If you could just read <laughs> who the two special <laughs> comments people are there nominated, please, on the original roster. Uh, NB yep. is uh, Nathan Brown, and uh, the other one is GL. Gary Lyon. Swatter. 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 I'm not letting you go to a break <laughs> until you tell the truth. Well, <laughs> what does it say? JD looks Thank as though you. it's but no. JD looks as though it's been written in Schwatter. after it was Schwatter. sent out. Gary Schwatter, Gaz, you lose me for the night it if you're dishonest. I lost you a long time ago, no, Chief. Done. Did and it says <laughs> it says JD, Chief. It's got your name on the roster. <laughs> Don't run away. Uh, Steve, three, get it three burning issues.